Chapter name is Programming Languages. It's a chapter number 7. It's on the page number 53. A program is a set of instructions that computer can understand. A program is a set of instructions that computer can understand. So there are so many instructions combined in a program. As we have discussed, a program or a software, both terms are same. So a software is a set of instruction or a program is a set of instructions that computer can understand. We use so many programs in our computer. We can use browser, we can use games, we play music on it. All of them are programs. The instructions regarding these programs are different and vary program to program. Then instructions are also called command or statement. In a general life example, we talk to others, we write sentences, we talk to others, we speak words. But in computer, the sentences or the words are instructions and they are known as command or statements. So instructions are also called command or statement. Computer programs are written in programming languages. So all of the computer softwares which are in the computer are written by the programmers and the language they use are the programming languages there are so many programming languages available in the world i will mention the names of some of them like c c sharp c plus plus php java and there are so many others these are just for the example so computer programs are written in programming languages these languages are understandable by computer the question is why we need a programming language why human need a language because to communicate if we don't have a language we are not able to communicate with the other peoples the same case the computer needs a programming languages to communicate with the other computers the developers the makers the designers of the programs need to learn the language and after learning it they are writing a computer program which can be understandable by the other computers. So these languages are understandable by the computers. So get a review. A program is a set of instruction that computer can understand. The second point instruction also called command or a statement. Computer programs are written in programming languages. These languages are understandable by computer. What is algorithm? Algorithm is an organized set of instructions. There is a word organized. Organized means the instructions are placed in a sequence. In simple word, algorithm is just a recipe or a shortcut through which we can do some task or use to perform some task. Now what algorithm do? It tells us what to do step by step. There are two things in the algorithm. It tells us what to do. Means what is the purpose, what is the outcome, what is the result, what is the objective. Okay. And then it tells step by step. Step by step is the sequencing of the algorithm. As I told you, algorithm is just a recipe. It tells us two things. What to do means the output and how you can get this output step by step. Then it helps us to solve a problem. In a computer, a word problem is basically used for a routine work or a routine task. In our daily life, problem means a thing which is not solvable. But in computer, it's used for a general task or a routine task. It is also used in calculations and data processing. Algorithm is also used in calculations and in data processing. So take a review. Algorithm is an organized set of instructions. In simple word, algorithm is just a shortcut or a recipe through which we use to perform some task. Algorithm tells us two things, what to do step by step. It helps us to solve a problem. Here problem means a general or a routine task. Algorithm are also used in calculations and data processing. Algorithms can be written in any language, but if you are following a standard standard form of algorithm you will use English but you can write a single word or a one word or a one sentence at a instruction it's up to you there is an example of an algorithm
to make a tea we are going to write algorithm or a recipe to make a tea the first thing you do it's normally switch on the burner okay then the second step the second instruction the second command pour some milk in a bowl the third instruction put some tea leaves and sugar in it then you have to wait wait for what the fourth instruction is for a boil so boil is a process so there are some processes in a recipes so you wait for boil the fourth instruction is the fifth one after boiling pour tea in a cup and then the sixth step is a survey you cannot move the sequencing of the steps if you want to get the same result then you don't have to move the sequence of the instructions now we are going to see the example which is mentioned in the book on the page number 53 so algorithm to make a french toast the first instruction is break an egg in a bowl add a little milk and sugar the third instruction is beat well for a minute dip a slice of bread in the egg mixture the sixth fifth one is heat a spoon of oil in a pan the sixth one is fry the bread and the last one the seventh one is a serve if you move the fourth step the fourth step is dip a slice of bread in the egg mixture and you move it from four to second what it make it's like the first instruction is break an egg in a bowl and the second statement would be look like dip a slice of bread in the egg mixture but there is no mixture because in the first statement you only break an egg in a bowl so you don't have to move the sequence of a recipe of a algorithm it's very much necessary to follow the sequence otherwise you will not get the same results as remember algorithm has two things what to do and step by step